So it's 2021 and the industry giant and WRC icon Audi told the world that they're gonna stop developing new internal combustion motors. Oh no, God! Now, this news comes shortly after fellow European rival Mercedes-Benz announced similar plans. And so, are we facing the end of the internal combustion engine? Should you be buying them all up right now because they may be a better investment than game stonks? Let's discuss that. I'm Brad Danger, this is Ideal, and if you're new here, please subscribe and turn on that notification bell. And also hit that like button for the YouTube algorithm, even though you may not like what you're about to hear, because this one's a bit of a doozy. Buckle up, let's go. From big V8 to humble turbo fours. Internal combustion engines are becoming an endangered species. Although I do agree that they are disappearing at a pretty slow rate. But still, nonetheless, they're being replaced by electric alternatives. And Audi is one of those companies that's pushing this change. They just released their frankly pretty sweet e-tron, and unfortunately, their announcement wasn't any kind of surprise. But you may not know what they actually announced anyways. Well, basically, the emission standards keep getting stricter and stricter, and Audi's not gonna develop any new gas or diesel motors. And that's just part of the larger Volkswagen plan as a whole. We already have the Porsche Taycan, and now the the Audi e-tron. But Volkswagen wants to have more than 70 different types of EVs available by 2030. And they've already invested billions, yes, billions with a B, into that idea. And I guess we can assume that that whole diesel gate thing made them a little bit more paranoid. And they're really trying really hard to get back on the good side of the earth. Now, all this does not mean that they're gonna stop selling ice or internal combustion motors anytime soon. Engine design cycles are usually measured in decades, which means we're probably safe for at least another 10 years or so. Yes! 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 And Audi even said that they won't be canceling any combustion cars anytime soon. The R8, you know, Audi's halo supercar, may be a hybrid next generation, which it's kind of to be expected since all supercars are becoming that after they dominated Le Mans, but they don't have any plans to just cancel it or anything. But it does mean that there is a time limit. And yes, we are approaching a time when you won't be able to buy a gas powered car at all. But luckily that time is not now. And if I had to bet, and you're subscribed here at Ideal, you drive a car with an internal combustion engine. And if so, you need fixed which is the sponsor of today's video. And this little guy right here is an onboard diagnostic reader for your car. And this is by far one of the best investments any car enthusiast can make. You see, it talks directly to your car to find out any issues. And if it has any, it'll send them to an easy to understand app on your phone. I mean, it's kind of like magic. And in the past, I bought a more expensive OBD2 reader and it actually gave me less information for more money, which is the opposite of ideal. But Fixed not only gives you live data and in-depth diagnostics anytime that the check engine light pops up, but it will actually remind you when your car is due for maintenance. So for a limited time, you can snag one of these for less than 20 bucks, which is over 67% off. Just click the link in the bio or the first comment and snag yours before the price goes back up. And thanks Fix for sponsoring today's video. Now, Audi isn't alone here in going fully electric in the future. Like we said, the entire Volkswagen group is going greener. So much so that they're shooting for the majority of their cars to be electric in the near future. And they're making huge developments in compressed gas and hydrogen vehicles too. Which means you may see a hydrogen Lambo with an electric motor soon. Are you kidding right now? Hopefully it'll be just as insane as we've come to expect from Lamborghini. <laughs> And Mercedes recently announced that they're not going to develop any more ICE engines as well. And General Motors here in the States has been pushing their electric cars for a while. Both Ford and GM have pledged to have EVs on the road that are cheaper than their gas powered equivalents by 2025, which last I checked, it's only a couple years away. Crazy. But perhaps the most interesting place to look is China. You see, China is the world's largest buyers of cars, period. And as of 2021, they are far and away the greatest consumer of electric cars. Part of the reason is that China has laws forcing manufacturers to make EVs, or they're gonna be charged 
hefty fines. So it probably makes a little bit more sense as to why Toyota, Nissan, Ford, Kia, and just about everyone else are now pushing electric vehicles worldwide. Even more crazy might be NIO, the Chinese Tesla. Their cars can be charged in minutes because of the battery swapping technology. They also have great performance and Unlike Tesla, Neo is actually making money. Now, right now, Neo doesn't sell any of their cars in the US, but that could change very soon. Like you could have a Kia Soul with a gas motor, or you could get a high performance EV cheap. Which one would you rather choose? Let us know down below. Because if electric vehicles with higher performance are the same as internal combustion engine cars, does that mean the internal combustion engines are going away? Well, not yet, and probably not for another 20 or so years. And I think it's probably longer if you're an enthusiast. Because first, although it is getting more difficult to keep older cars on the road, there are billions of fueled powered vehicles roaming the streets. They aren't gonna just magically disappear. Plus, there are companies out there like Dodge and BMW who are hell-bent on bucking the electric trend. Knowing Dodge though, they'll figure out a way to run a Hellcat on pure grain alcohol or something. And that would actually be pretty cool. And BMW actually just flat out said that they will continue to develop and invest in internal combustion engines over the next 20 years. The M3, it's not going anywhere, which makes us all wonder if the next great German rival will be between gas and electric, not just BMW and Mercedes. But what's for sure is we're gonna see less new ICE cars on the road every single year. EV sales represents about 5% of all cars sold today. And that's projected to rise to 7% by the end of the year. And if that 60% growth rate trend continues, EVs will represent a majority of cars sold in 2031, which is like 10 years from now. Now, there are some big hurdles to overcome still, like we don't have an infrastructure yet. And the mining of the materials needed to make batteries is hard to get, but that's a small hurdle in the grander scheme of things. And Tesla, Ford, and Volkswagen all believe they'll have those kinks worked out shortly. So long story short, you will probably be able to wrench and enjoy gas motors for at least a couple more decades. Probably longer, especially since more people are buying electric cars, and that means there's more gas for the rest of us. But the change is definitely coming. And if you have the resources, it would be a good idea to preserve the cars that you love. And I think most of you would agree that the very first vehicles to be phased out are gonna be those big old V8s, because their fuel gulping engines really don't help Mother Earth. And you can see that change with Ford, who's really trying to push electric and four-cylinder Mustangs instead of the good old V8s. Heck, Tina, you know, the ideal Jeep, has an eco-diesel six-cylinder engine. And out of the three engines available for the JL Wrangler, by and far, that's the best motor. And if you like V8s, well, don't worry, because there's actually a very good case to be made for buying a V8 as an investment for the future. While something like a Toyota Camry probably won't explode in value anytime soon, a car that is already a bit rare, like, say the GT500, is about to get really, really, really rare. And the same forces that drove the prices of the Mark IV Supra into the stratosphere will cause the prices of the last American V8s to skyrocket. Although, in our ideal opinion, your time would probably be better spent just enjoying it while you can. That way, you can be one of those old guys that sits around talking about how much better everything was in the old days. And those old days were spent burning ancient plants for energy. And that's kind of a hard note to end on. So instead, let's be optimistic. Can we be excited for the electric future? Well, in my mind, there's no question about it. Yes, we will miss the sound. Nothing compares to the music created by a flat plane crank V8 leaving the light. Plus, charging an electric car can just straight up be a beep. You need to find a fast charger or run an extension cord from your apartment to the street. And not only will that probably violate your lease, but the lady next door will probably trip on that power cord and try to sue you. However, in almost every other metric, electric is just plain better. And I can't believe I'm saying that. It's just something that car people don't like to admit. The torque from an electric motor, it's unreal. And it is the reason why the Tesla Model S can hang with a Hellcat in a straight line. Plus, the low center of gravity from the batteries mounted way down low, yeah, like way down there, 
means that the handling of these cars is only going to get more insane as time goes on. Plus, there's even a lot of practical benefits to electric as well. As much as we want to believe that the only thing worth talking about is performance, the lack of an engine and a gas tank means that electric cars have a lot more space to work with. Which is why cars like the Porsche Taycan can have four seats and a huge trunk despite competing with supercars on the track. Plus, the electric car customization world is just starting, and it's actually quite fun to watch. People are finally modding their electric cars in order to push the limits. You have RTR pushing out 1400 horsepower electric drift cars, and companies like EV West that are converting your favorite cars into high power electrics. I mean, just check out this Beetle. When they were new, a Beetle had roughly 30 horsepower, and that was on a good day. But with an EV conversion, it gets over 100 and drops the zero to 60 time from minutes to sub four seconds. That's a mind blowing difference. The excitement for our future as an automotive enthusiast, well, it's gonna be up to us. It's going to take people like you and me that love customizing cars to learn to adapt and really just push our ideas into the future along with the cars that we love. And there's no doubt that we'll all be sad to see V8s leave us, but the earth is really important. And I think that we can all look forward to some really amazing electric cars. They're in all of our futures. So what are you most excited about with electrifying the future? Let us know down below in the comments. And would you buy a V8 just to preserve it? Well, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and maybe buy a shirt to save the manuals because that's actually another thing that electric cars don't have. Damn, change is kind of scary. Let's make the best of it. And if you're new here, I'm Brad Danger. This is Ideal. Please subscribe and keep living the ideal lifestyle.